Are Canadian real estate prices going back to 2017 levels? Well, technically we're already there. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how and why we are already at 2017 levels. I'm that Agent Kelly. I talk about Canadian real estate in my local market of Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. If you're into that, please subscribe, like the video. And if you want access to early pre-sale deals, I got a link in my description that goes right into the Equity Club newsletter. All right, so pulled up, we got the residential property prices for Canada chart, right? And as you can see, we have been going down as of late, but realistically in the last, you know, two years, prices have been relatively flat and, you know, we're pretty much at quarter three, 2021 prices um, currently right now for Canadian real estate. However, what I want to show you is the real property price chart. So basically how this works is you can never really just look at the price of an asset, right? Because what you buy that asset with is obviously currency and currency is just a means of exchanging value. It's not the actual value of something, right? So currently right now, if we look at the real property prices for Canada provided by the Fred, the St. Louis Fed, right? We are, you know, basically at 2017 levels on a real property price basis, right? And how does this happen? Well, if the value of the dollar goes down in relation to other asset classes, then you don't actually get any appreciation on a real basis, right? So if the Canadian dollar goes down while gold is going up, like what I believe they do at this chart, and I'm not an economist by any means, but I believe they basically compare the value of real estate in comparison to a basket of other assets like silver, gold, and maybe like the S&P 500 index or something like that. Like, for an example, a million dollar home in Canada last year, you could have bought with maybe a thousand shares of the S&P 500, right? Maybe this year, you only need 800 shares of the S&P 500 to buy that same house in Canada. So maybe the price of the home stayed the same, but now you need less shares of the S&P to buy that home. So on a real value basis, the value of real estate went down even though the price stayed the same. So I wanna show you guys something else here, right? So this is, you know, the 90s for Canadian real estate was coined the lost decade. There really wasn't much appreciation there, topping out in 1989. And what is that, 45. So we are already higher on a price basis by 1993, but there really wasn't much appreciation during this decade. You know, we kind of just were range bound and it wasn't until, you know, 2000 where we kind of eclipsed the prices from the 1980s and then we started, you know, ripping to the upside from there. However, if you look at this on a real property price basis, again, peaking out in 1989, on a real price basis, there was no growth whatsoever until basically 2004 is when we finally started to see properties go up on a real basis. However, if you actually look at the price of real estate, prices were much higher by like 2001 and they were even kind of escalating up ever so slightly during that entire decade, it's just on a real basis, it looked like all they did was go down for that whole decade. So why am I telling you guys this today? Well, there's a lot of people out there saying that prices have to come down, they have to come down, they have to come down. And that may not be the case because what I could see happening is another situation where prices actually do go up every single year, but on a real property price basis, maybe they just kind of trade flat and they're range bound just like the 90s for like the next eight years. But on a price basis, the prices are still going higher. So I'll give you guys a very simple example to explain this. And you know, I'm not very well versed in this topic, so it's hard for me to explain it. But basically, let's just say a home is a million Canadian dollars two years ago. And you know, the value of the of USD was like 75 cents to one dollar, right? An American could buy that home for 750K. Let's just say next year, you know, the US dollar is like, you know, 67 cents to every US dollar, right? Now an American can buy that home for 670K, even though the price of the home is still a million dollars. And let's just say another year passes and now that home is like $1.2 million and the US dollar is still like 0.67, maybe it costs, you know, an American 750K to buy that home. That's now $1.2 million. Although prices went up for Canadian real estate 20%, the overall real adjusted price for that asset hasn't changed at all because it's still the exact same price for an American to buy that home. So I'm not saying this is going to happen, but 
everybody's so focused on what the price of our real estate is, forgetting that we've basically been range bound for coming up on three years now, all the while the value of our currency has constantly been getting degraded. Like you can buy a detached home in Chilliwack now on a 7,000 square foot lot with a suite for like $780,000 and in American dollars, that's like 550 grand. That's really not that expensive. We think it's expensive. So the point of this video isn't to tell you like do this or do that. I'm just bringing to your attention that like, you know, everybody put it this way, right? A chocolate bar in the in like 1983 was 20 cents. That chocolate bar is never gonna be 20 cents again. Why? Because of inflation. Because the value of the dollar that you're using to buy that chocolate bar with has significantly degraded over the last 40 years, right? So people are looking at a million dollar homes and they're saying, the price needs to come down, the price needs to come down. Not realizing that we've had inflation running hot for the last three years, right? So that million dollars is not a million dollars anymore. Now it's like, you know, 850K, whatever it is. So something to think about. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, like this video. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. Peace.